Hi everyone, it's Janet Wakeland here back with part two of our 2022 July through December Fall and Holiday Stampin' Up! Catalog unboxing. I decided to do it a little differently this time around just because with 87 pages, this catalog here is like overstuffed. It is like a double stuff Oreo. And so I decided to split it up and do it just a little bit differently. If you missed part one, which was a look at the eight suites of products in this catalog, I'll link that in the description of this video. But let's get started and let's turn the catalog, uh, catalog, the camera right around. And what we'll be looking at is we're gonna be looking at primarily bundles. And I'll explain that to you in just a second from this catalog that debuts July 1st. And you'll get at least one sneak peek from our celebration brochure because when you shop in July and August, you'll be earning celebration items. And if you stay tuned and listen throughout the video, you may also hear how you could get these products now without waiting, get additional products at 20% off, and also be getting the celebration products now um, so you don't have to worry about supply chain issues and all of that stuff. So let's just jump right in. So what I wanna show you first are just stamp sets that are not part of what we call sweets or bundles. They simply are just really amazing stamp sets. They will coordinate with other great products that are in the catalog, but they don't have a coordinating punch or die or papers or anything like that. So we have our sweet little caroling mice and Stampin' Up! has two types of stamps, cling mount, these are our high quality, deeply etched red rubber stamps. And you're simply going to pull them off of the little piece that holds them in place. You'll add your label and you'll be ready to use them. And then the other type of stamp that Stampin' Up! has is our photo polymer stamps. And I kind of lied to you just a few seconds ago while I said that these are not part of a bundle and they don't necessarily coordinate with dies or punches or things like that, some of these are add-on sets to existing bundles. So we have our bottled happiness in the annual catalog and the dies from that bottled happiness will cut these bottles out, okay? So you have this nice add-on stamp set here. Oh, look at the coloring opportunities with this apple harvest. Isn't that beautiful? So depending on whether you like Granny Smith or Golden Delicious, you're gonna have lots of opportunities for coloring. I love the fonts in this one. This is our Soft Seedlings. I don't know what you guys called these. We always called them helicopters because you could twirl them and they would swirl around like a helicopter blade. Or um, we called them wishers, just like the dandelion things because we would make a wish on them when I was a child. I love this beautiful nativity. Look at this. And I love that it has nice um, straight lines so that it's just very, very easy to cut out. And then some greetings. I love, it's a very different font, okay? So kind of more um, modern, if that makes sense. This here is one big, large stamp. It will cover the front of a standard A2 card, which is a four and a quarter by five and a half card. So you have one very large snowflake. Of course, you're gonna be able to do some other fun decor pieces by using it on vellum or acetate and things like that. Look at these sweet little seals. Are they just not the cutest? And then hope your Christmas makes a big splash. And this one's interesting in that it has a grandson and a granddaughter sentiment in it. And you've got my seal of approval. So a fun little play on our two sweet little seals. The other thing, as I go through these bundles and stamps, if you saw part one first, you're going to start to see that a lot of these stamps, while they don't have an exact die, an exact piece of paper necessarily assigned to them, that they do coordinate. You're gonna to start to see, oh, I know exactly what to use with that sweater or those plants, or I know what exactly to do with that banner and things like that, okay? Look at the pelican. This Louisiana girl is happy over that pelican, right? We've got our sun kiss. And one of the things some of you may be thinking, God, it's just a little odd to have palms and the trees and uh, the little umbrellas and the sun umbrella and the launch sun chairs, I guess is what I'm trying to say. 
in a July to December catalog. One thing all of you may not know is that Stampin' Up! is a global company. And so if you're watching this in North America, of course, our holidays and our winter is in you know September, October, November, December. But for our demonstrators down in New Zealand and Australia, our customers down in New Zealand and Australia, their holiday, our winter is their summer, okay? So a little nod to our friends in the South Pacific. Look at these cute witches. Aren't they adorable? If you've got it, haunt it. Absolutely will be haunting it this fall. I love pheasants. I just think that their feathers are stunning. So just a nice simplistic stamp set there. I love greeting sets as well. You've heard me mention they're the necklace to the little black dress, so they will definitely um, just enhance anything in your collection already. And beautiful, beautiful greetings, peace on earth and goodwill to all. Emmanuel, God is with us, the weary world rejoices, tidings of comfort and joy, and additional greetings that are part of that. Let me move my tower off to the side before it slides over. Where's my furry friends? Look at the mischief in that, and even the name, North Pole Mischief. And I kind of love that these, this dog and this cat are kind of non-breed specific, because you know, every one of us want a stamp set. Like, I would love to have a German short hair pointer stamp, right? You're gonna see in a minute that we have Scotty. So those of you that have Scotties, we took care of you. But I love that these are kind of generic, so the rest of us in the world still at least have a dog or a cat that makes us feel good even if it's not our breed. Stampin' Up! is continuing with its line of what I call people-based stamps. And I love when the people-based stamps have their back to you, just because you only have to worry about a little bit of skin tone and it makes it that much easier to make it, um, to stamp these and to use these in skin tones um, for um, a greater inclusivity and things like that. It just makes it a little bit easier to color for those of us like myself that maybe still really aren't that comfortable with blending and using um, our color stamps and our color um, blends and things like that. And then we've got our jingle, jingle, jingle. And you've got multiple stamps involved in that. So now let's take a look at our bundles. In the first video, I talked about our suites. We have eight suites in the July to December catalog. And a suite is a coordinated grouping of products that's usually a bundle like you see here, some ribbon like you see here, an embellishment, some papers and all of that. And the suite can be ordered with one easy code, the, I call it the I want it all button. But the suite products are also available individually. The same with our bundles. Our bundles of products are coordinating either punches um, and stamps or dies and stamps. They are always um, on sale at 10% off. However, they can be also ordered individually. If you're just a stamper and you never die cut, great. Or you're gonna see here towards the end of this video, three sets of dies that I bought because I love the dies, but I didn't really want the stamp set. So that's always a possibility as well. When I'm looking at bundles, I always look for what I call the value added pieces. The pieces like this bow, this little hanging piece here, that don't necessarily have a stamp set that they coordinate or stamp that they coordinate with, but will definitely enhance the pairing of the two in the bundle. So this is our decorated with happiness. And you've got your ornaments and your your um, swisher marks, these will go behind your leaves to give you that secondary color and that depth to them. Where's my Halloween friends? This scary, cute stamp set. So it's just the outline. So again, you're gonna have that kind of silhouette, which is also really, really fun. And then what you have with these sets of dies is you have some images to create those silhouettes, your simple little bats, your tiny little bats. So you're gonna have some amazing possibilities with that one. We'll wait on that one for one second. I know snowmen are always extremely popular and we have some elements to build some sun snowmen, including some shades. Come on, let's like have a little bit of fun with our snowmen, right? We're gonna like make him Instagram worthy and put a couple of shades on him and bling him out. You've got a frame piece here, this big square around it, and then you're gonna be able to die cut 
either stamped images or designer paper pieces to go ahead and dress up your sweet little snowman arms you've got trees you've got carrots for his nose all kinds of great things for that this one here is going to be beautiful year round you've got your beautiful little bird okay he's kind of all fluffed up and just sassy um sassy fluffy some great greetings no matter the season i am here for you let heaven and nature sing wishing you abundant joy and peace your kindness warms my heart you have dies and when you see a die like this it not only die cuts but it embosses it adds those veined leaves and then this piece here is going to give you a beautiful look of aspens on your cards and then a single tree branch and you'll be able to use these images to fluff that tree out and to create your own type of tree so hopefully all of you have someone to kiss under the mistletoe this year but we have our sweet mistletoe again you can see that there are more dies than there are actual images again that's that value added um, concept where you have pieces that are going to cut out a whole lot in this case i can die cut four little berries or i can die cut ten berries i can die cut six berries so i can die cut a lot more than just what the stamp set has so our mistletoe magic this one here will give you our first peak of celebration. The stamp set is available for purchase in the July to December catalog with a $50 purchase in July and August or with a $50 purchase as a demonstrator um, before your discount during the month of June, you can earn this for free. And so this is a free gift that again will be available to you. So you have your stamp set and then look at the fun dies. Look at that little glamper and the little party lights. I can just see so many things more that I wanna do with these, right? I hope all of you guys do too. So that's our trees for sale. As we keep going through here, then we also have our fond of autumn. We've got this big, beautiful piece here. Some great greetings that are gonna fit and they're kind of shaped to go in there. And while this might say autumn and it might have a leaf like this that we tend to see more in the fall this is going to be not just fall you're going to be able to use this one year round and then here are the dies that go with it you can just simply die cut into your cardstock or you can cut the whole image out and then you have these pieces here okay that work together fond of autumn this one is one that we're seeing at least one of in every stampin up catalog you have what's called, excuse me, a hybrid set of dies and a folder. And what that means is if I was to take, and let's go ahead and see if we can peel these off here for a second. Normally I prefer to use a little bit of heat on them with my heat tool. But what you're going to see is that if I was to put this through the embossing folder, that this would go ahead then and it's going to die cut out five different rings. So you have that opportunity to emboss and then to go ahead and die cut. And then you also have individual tree rings and leaves and branches and all kinds of things. And I think our happy forest friends are going to be excited for this set of dies. So that's our ringed with nature bundle. As we keep moving through, we're almost to the bottom of at least our die bundles. So with this one, our Celebrate with Tags, this is another one that would work very, very well on its own. Yes, it's nice to have some, you know, some of these greetings that will fit inside of the banner pieces, but there's lots of other greetings. So this is one that could well have stood on its own. But I did really, really like that bold greeting. It really does stand out with ink on cardstock. Um, and for some of us that are getting a little bit older and tend to wear our bifocals a lot more, having bold greetings is kind of nice. But you're going to have pieces here that create gift card holders. They will cut and score, or at least a tag that folds and that opens up and you can see the inside of them. You've got candles, so that could be birthdays. So a great, great tag set and something we haven't had before so that's new and fresh in our line and then looking at our bundles with punches i know some of you are absolutely punch fanatics 
And so you're going to be very happy with the four punches in our July through December catalog. We have our witch's hat with a different bands so that you can go ahead and um, embellish them and add, you know, add to them however you want. And it'll also punch some stars. So that's our bewitching bundle. Another one is our handmade wishes. And this one just has a beautiful label shape, kind of almost like some of the, the quatrefoil in the annual catalog. And some definite greetings. These may fit inside the tags, and of course you're gonna find lots of other things to fit inside of that bundle. I mentioned the Scotty dog, and some of you have probably been waiting to see it. So here's our Christmas Scotty. And if you took these two greetings out, then, and actually even may your days be furry and bright, that could go beyond Christmas. So really the only thing Christmas about this stamp is the Merry Christmas greeting. So we have our sweet little Scotty bundle and he actually has a little bow there for whatever package he's bringing you. Then we have this great, great greeting set, the very best occasions. And we have another punch that will punch out a slot and then two different corners. So we have this trio punch here, again, a slot, which will be great for creating tags and threading your ribbons. And then I mentioned that um, there's some dies that I purchased that I didn't purchase the stamps. But before I do that, let me just show you this new embossing folder. It is a 3D embossing folder, which means it's gonna give you that really, really deep depth, that contrast between the flat paper and the embossed paper. And it is a larger six by six size. So you've got these beautiful trees and they're all just a little bit different. So you're gonna have a lot of fun with these trees. And then the two dies that I mentioned. This one is our windows dies. And I know that just by stamping this in green and this in green, the reason the trees, I'm gonna be able to use this to create window elements without the stamp set. So I just wanted the pieces that were part of this die set, so I went ahead and invested in this die set. Now this die set has a little secret. This die set I would have bought for one reason and one reason alone and never cared if I used any other piece in this die set. And it's this right here. You have the numbers zero through nine, which means that you have like all kinds of number combinations, right? So I would have bought it just for the numbers. I can't wait to do birthday cards for, you know, 50 year olds, 60 year olds, 10 year olds, seven year olds. I love the fact that it has numbers. So the fact that it also has this sweet little box, it has these extra little labels and ovals. It has bunny ears and reindeer ears and bat wings that will go on the back of the box so that you have a bat box or a deer box or a bunny box. You have tags and, you know, actually these are also little butterfly pieces. You can turn the box into that. And then other fun little ears for other critters. Again, there is a stamp set that goes with it, but I really just wanted the dies because when I looked at it, I saw more possibilities with the dies than the bundles. And as I mentioned, that's one of the cool things about the products is that everything is available individually or of course in those cost saving suites and bundles. As I mentioned in the previous video, if you don't have um, a demonstrator and would like catalog so that you can find out about ordering, if you would like to be on my mailing list so that you receive news of my personal specials, you re receive news of what's going on with Stampin' Up! and their specials, and you receive um, free PDF tutorials every month, 25 or more every month, just to download for free in my newsletter. Make sure you check the description for all of those links. And I have one more video left for you as we look at new products in the July through the December uh, catalog, and that will be showing you exactly what's available in my taste of the holiday catalog sampler that you will be able to begin to pre-order now. So I will get that to you in just a few minutes. So thanks for watching guys, I appreciate you.